How do you take something as basic and low-tech as handwriting and turn it into a high-tech tool? Joining us today to talk about the rise of handwriting recognition technology is Patty Padman Abhan, CEO of MyScript. Welcome, Patty. Great to have you here. Thank you, Tanya, for having me here. So MyScript has been in the handwriting recognition technology business since 1998. That is How correct. How has it developed since then? How has it changed? See, in the 1998, in that time frame, we were mainly focused on working with digital pens and on paper. But then as we moved into the 2000s and beyond, as the tablets, the touch-enabled devices evolved, I think it opened new doors to bring handwriting into the high-tech space. And so do you see handwriting as the most natural way that humans have of communicating with machines? It's one of the natural ways. I think you've got uh, speech recognition mm -hmm. and writing. So if you go back, you know, we created language, we created speech, we created writing. And that's how the world communicated. So as the technology evolves, here is an opportunity to take what we used to communicate all these years and bring that into the present age. Let's talk about some of the, the exact ways it's being used right now. I understand in the automotive industry, there's some exciting ways you can just use your finger to make letters and you know, your stereo knows what songs you want to play, yeah, is that right? Yeah, that, that is correct. One of the industries that really took the handwriting to the next level was the automotive industry. And there, what we have done is we have what is called a superimposed technology. So that is a very small writing surface, and you could write characters one on top of the other, and it recognizes. So I if I want to make a phone call, I can just put the numbers in and it automatically dials. I have a question though. If you're left-handed, do you have to reach over the side or you just have to learn how to make those That letters? design <laughs> you need to discuss with the audible. Okay, right, right. right. That's... We provide the technology. <laughs> they do right. the user interface. And do you have to have, uh, is the user interface now so sophisticated that even if you have sloppy handwriting, it can read what's going yes, on? Yes, I think it's, it's improving. Mm -hmm. uh, if it is sloppy, yeah. we are identifying ways to kind of filter that and then recognize the text. So we've reached a accuracy level in excess of 96, 97 wow. percent. And as the devices start to improve and the stylus writing experience improves, I think there's room for improving recognition quite a bit. And besides cars, what are some of the other exciting applications of this technology? Well, I think uh, there are two other areas where it works very well. One is in the education field. Mm -hmm. Uh, the education, as the technology is evolving, there is a huge debate because handwriting, there is a direct correlation between writing and retention. And a lot of uh, studies have been done. So in bringing handwriting into this modern age, a new technology that is evolving, we are trying to preserve the old way people learn. So there is a lot of interest in handwriting. Yes, we've discussed that, how handwriting helps retention, how you should take your notes, mm -hmm. you should handwrite your notes to help you remember, remember them. Remember so that. That's very yeah, there's a 50% in some test that was done at different universities, it is a 50% higher retention rate when you write than when you use keyboard to enter very exciting. information. And very quickly, we don't have a lot of time, what, are, what do you see in the future here? See, in the future, I think uh, uh, it's very interesting to see that some of the operating system guys are now coming into it. For example, Google announced that they are getting into the handwriting space. Uh, there is rumors that Microsoft will be in because they have a very good technology. So I think what we are going to see is handwriting will become a one of the input methods. I wouldn't say that it's going to eliminate keyboards or, mm -hmm. or speech recognition, but I think we would get into a world where it will be a multimodal input and it allow users to pick what is convenient and natural for them and use it. Making and I think handwriting will be that. a part of it. I love that. Patty, thank you so much for being here. Thank you very today. much, Tony.